Understanding how to maximize the use of your equipment is a very important thing out here. It's probably one of the most important things because it's giving you more options in adverse weather and in adverse situations. So just having your gear and thinking of it in one specific way is never a good idea out here. Now with that said though, a lot of people right away jump to the multi-purpose use of an item. And that's really not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the needle that can also be used as a compass, that can also be used to pick a splinter out. What I'm talking about is really understanding that one piece of gear that you have and everything about that gear and how you can use it to your maximum benefit. And today we're we're going to be talking about something very simple just a lighter okay now this is an exotac lighter but it's just a little bit different than a normal lighter and the fact it's much like a old school zippo that once you light it it stays lit it doesn't go out okay so you got to put the lid back on and screw it down but with that comes also other options it doesn't require you to have to hold that button down so i'm going to show you right now understanding how to utilize your gear just a little bit more, how much more that can be beneficial. So normally what I would do in a situation like this where there's a lot of snow, a lot of moisture on the ground is I'm gonna build some type of platform, which is just a pile of sticks to keep my initial flame source up off the ground. But if we understand the equipment we're carrying, we understand how to use it to its maximum potential, what we can think about then is eliminating something like that. It's eliminating one more step and allowing us to more quickly get a fire started. So we take like my Titan light, for example, which I've been using quite often now. I know it's waterproof, so it's not gonna hurt it to sit on the ground. And I know that once I light this, I don't have to keep a trigger compressed, okay? So that flame's gonna keep going. So I can just use this as my base to get my fire started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my small bundle of sticks right now just like this, I'm gonna light it. Of course, I have my backstop already in place and I'm just going to lay that pile of sticks right over the top of that. So I'm just gonna let that burn for a second. While that's burning now, I don't need to worry about too much moisture getting to my sticks because it's up off the ground. I'm utilizing a piece of gear that I have and I'm usually utilizing nature around me. So once I come back now, I have some more sticks, even some smaller stuff. What I can do at this point is I can pull that lighter out, okay? And then I can take in another pile of sticks here and now I can build that base. So as those embers begin to fall, or if that stick bundle falls over, I don't have to worry about it going out. And then of course from there, I'm gonna take my next pile of sticks and I'm gonna lay them on and allow that time to burn. So utilizing a piece of equipment that we have with us to its full potential gives me this option. And that's it, that's a quick tip for anybody with one of these ExoTac lighters. And it's also hopefully gonna give a lot of you out there a little bit more insight and something to think about when you're thinking about your gear itself. Look through your gear and really learn your gear and think about how you can use it in different contexts because it's those little, little tricks that make life so much easier when you're out here. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you enjoyed this trick. And as always, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com and until next video, stay in the woods.